Ani and Atiina step into the Codetopia Code Lab, a glowing space filled with floating neon symbols, pulsing like ancient runes. Their robot guide, Byte, floats in. Welcome back, coding adventurers. Last time, we took our first step into JavaScript. We ran our first command using console.log, and we even tested it in the browser console. Oh yeah, that's how we made JavaScript say things on the screen. And we learned that JavaScript is what makes websites interactive. Exactly. But so far, we've only printed messages. What if we want to store information and use it later? That's where variables come in. Think of variables like treasure chests that hold valuable information. Instead of gold, they store words, numbers, and even more powerful things later. So, it's like a magic box where we can keep things? Exactly. And just like a treasure chest needs a label, variables need a name too. Let's create our first variable inside index.js. This time, instead of just using the browser console, click the code runner extension in VS Code. Whoa, it printed the name in the terminal. That's because variables remember information, and console.log lets us see what's inside. Wait, so here a name is the box. And it holds ATINA? You got it. And guess what? We can change what's inside. Whoa, now it holds Ani's name instead. That's the power of variables. They remember things for us, and we can update them anytime. Before we go further, have you noticed these forward slash forward slash symbols in the code? Yeah, they're like little notes inside the code. Great observation. In JavaScript, we use forward slash forward slash four short comments and slash asterisk asterisk slash four longer notes. Comments help us explain our code, but they don't run. So comments help us remember what our code does. Yes, and good programmers always use comments to keep their code clear and easy to read. Not all treasure chests store the same thing. Some hold words. Some hold numbers. And some hold true slash false values. Oh, so JavaScript knows the difference between words, numbers, and yes or no answers. Exactly. And some variables can be reassigned, while others can't be reassigned. If we want a variable that can be reassigned, we use let. But if we want something not to be reassigned, we use const. Here is an example. The output shows a type error on the console, warning us that planet was assigned to a constant variable. Therefore, it can't be reassigned. Oh, const locks a value in place, like a safe? Exactly. In most cases, we use const unless we know a we will reassign a variable in the future. Now that we know about variables, let's test them in the browser console too. Using the browser console. 1. Open Google Chrome or any other browser. 2. Right-click and select Inspect or press F12. 3. Click the Console tab. Type this code and click Enter. It works here too. So JavaScript runs in both VS Code and a browser. That's the beauty of JavaScript. It can work behind the scenes, on your browser, or even on a server. Activity time. 1. Create a new variable for your name. 2. Create a variable for your favorite number. 3. Try using let and const. See what happens when you try to change them. 4. Add a comment above each variable to explain what it does. JavaScript lets us store and change information, and comments help us remember why. Next time, we'll explore numbers, math, and cool tricks. You won't want to miss it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.